Hello everyone, welcome on my channel Acreates. I'm planning to provide you simple game tutorials to show how easy it is to start developing your own game. In this tutorial, we will start to make Flappy Bird clone game and we will only use the drag and drop system in Game Maker Studio 2. Let's start by opening a new project. Drag and drop. Uh, Fluffy Bird. <laughs> For the people who has already used Game Maker 1 before, uh, the assets folder is now on the right side. And if you know that this is the updated of Game Maker Studio, the order of the assets are also different. But that shouldn't really make a big difference because there are still sprites and objects. Just be aware when I say where to click. Okay, we were going to make uh, the Flappy Bird our own. Uh, let's get... When you finish it should look a bit like this so perfect close the sprites rename it player and now we will give some functions to, to the bird so first this is in the sprite so it's basically nothing so when we want to give it some behavior we will make it an object so objects player we give it the sprite that we just made, which is hidden away in the folder sprites. Basically, when you make a game, you open a folder with all those folders inside, sprites, sounds, and so on. Okay. So the bird is going down if you don't do anything. That's to set the movement, right here is movement, and set the gravity one. And half of a fourth. Then I like to just use the space for this and just set the vertical speed to the vertical one, two, let's say minus ten. And we can create. And then we want to make the pipe. Um, let's make it a little easier this time. Uh, we take this this color. No, not that color. Need this color. It's better. That's just based basically a peripheral presence of course. Preference of course. This uh, doesn't really matter how it looks like because we are going to use different shapes. Okay, I like to clean my room and just call it. Uh, the pipe. Perfect. You create a new object with the new sprite. Uh, objects type to keep it organized for such a small game you don't really need to but it makes makes sense if you make bigger games we create events we want to set speed uh, movement direction fix and the direction Five. 
you can always speed it up. Okay, so now we want to open the room. There's always already a startup room uh, made by Game Maker. Go to the background. Choose one of the colors associating with Flappy Bird. I think this is really nice. Uh, the instance layer, watch out when you um, try to drag objects. Uh, always be aware to um, click on the instance layer. And we want to drag in our flappy bird. And we want to drag in some pipes. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going to rescale them. Some pipes are bigger. I'll just rearrange them and make them a bit bigger, some smaller. Just add some random chunks. Just play around. Now we'll just use the trick. Uh, then um, the pipes will spawn itself. So for that, I just going to use basically the sprite that we used before. It doesn't really matter which sprite because we are not going to see this object. This object will be a trigger. Will be the trigger object. This will be the trigger object for the pipes to go back. So we want to have the collision object and be aware, just click on trigger. Now we want to use the jump to point mode. The eye will be just relative because that will be always the same. And now I will use random range and um, Basically, it's a little bit of coding, but not a lot. I will already have the function. It will say um, point 0.1 to point 0.2, and that it's going to have a random in between. I know that the room is around this size, and I will just make it 2000. So, basically, this means that it will reset itself. Before we can use this trigger, we need to add it to the room. So, control and scroll your mouse. And just drag the trigger here to the end of the room and make it bigger. This will make the, the pipes go back to a random position here. Okay. Okay, now we want the player to react. So. Let's have collision with the pipes. We want immediately to restart the room. So then it's game over. And also when it's outside of the room. Other outside room. So what we know of Flappy Bird itself is like it has counting uh, how far you have reached. So I want to make a new object, which I will be calling the controller. I will not give it any sprite because it's going to draw a UI. I will create a variable. And score. Because the step event uh, is not really a second, so I like to create an alarm. So set alarm. And set the new alarm. Here we'll take the score. Till you one relative, so it will add up one every time. 
I restart the alarm. Create a UI events, draw UI, transform value, I don't like the caption, say score. Score is a the, the variable, so it can be anything. Just be, be aware that the value score and the create value is the same. Otherwise you'll get an error. Let's go. Yes, and then we are going to set the color. To red. And add this object to the room. Let's test this. Press the run button on the F5. Uh, you see uh, the game is working, it has a countdown clock, the pipes are resetting itself and we have a bit of a challenge here because it seems to be, <laughs> yeah it is, it is quite challenging. Uh, so I hope you like this tutorial and if you want me to add more stuff on it, please let me know. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials or reviews and let's see you next time.